This topic is spreading beyond the borders of Story County. Firefighters all throughout the country are responding to the post. Most of the comments on the post are negative, but this woman says her voice is one that needs to be heard. Wednesday's funeral procession for former Colo Fire Chief Mark Farron meant to be a proper send off. Instead, it sparked an online debate. I tell the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. Rhonda Applegate lives in Nevada and plans to run for city council this fall. After a fellow citizen reached out to her, she posted a video of the procession on her Facebook page, saying it was an inappropriate use of emergency vehicles. Shouldn't we start to hold them accountable for these things? What's appropriate and what's not? How come can they use it, but other people can't use it? Many people do things honorable and good, yet we don't go to these extents and we don't put people on a pedestal. Nevada Fire Department leaders say processions like these aren't a question of cost, but more of tradition. I would think after 40 years of dedicating his entire life to someone other than himself, uh, boy, the least thing we could do is dedicate a little bit of time. Time, Nevada firefighters volunteered to take part in the procession. The only cost? Less than $50 for the gas in the truck. People uh, do provide their opinion and we respect that. As far as this department, we will continue as a department to respect the traditions of the American Fire Service. Applegate's video has more than 200,000 views and hundreds of comments. She says she's even received death threats. I'm not afraid to put my opinion out there. And if you don't like it, you can simply move on. For now, the conversation rages on and the response continues to grow. Nevada fire leaders tell me during the procession there was another truck on duty that actually responded to a call during the ceremonies. You can join in on the conversation on our Facebook page. Live in studio, Rose Heafy, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.